Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there if you haven't been there already. In today's video, I would like to share my idea of how you can make really spicy, yummy, salted yellow squash. So these are yellow squash and this is middle of January and you know some reason there are a lot of squash supply in my local store. So I got lots of squash and I'm going to make a very spicy, yummy yellow squash saute. So let's get on with it. So as you see I have about a teaspoon of oil into my pan and I'm going to heat up that and I have about eight large yellow squash and I cut it lengthwise like this so as my oil heats up I'm going to put in it cumin seed and asophodia and I have two large onion cut and about six seven cloves of garlic and a chunk of ginger grated so as my oil is heating up to this I'm going to give my cumin seed and my asafoetida. So this is one teaspoon of cumin seed and about quarter of a teaspoon or a little bit less asafoetida. I'm going to let my cumin seed and my asafoetida get roasted little bit when the when it starts to give out a really nice roasted smell then you can go ahead and put your onion ginger garlic and then just roast that one until it's brown so this one I'm going to keep it a little bit high heat Now to this one I'm adding the ginger garlic first and then the onion. Cook the ginger garlic a little bit. Since I add less oil, so I usually do not cook in high heat. So I'm going to lower the heat for the onion ginger garlic to cook. If you add a lot of oil, then you can cook it in high heat. But if you add very little oil, then you have to cook it in low heat or just a medium heat. Now my ginger garlic is a little bit done. So this one I'm going to put two onions. I have two large onions cut into small pieces. I'm going to cover this and let the onion, ginger, garlic cook for about 5 minutes until they are cooked and until they are a little bit brown but not burnt. Now you can choose to cover or you can choose to leave it open. I'll just cover that way it will be cooked a little bit more. So as my onion ginger garlic is cooking for 5 minutes now and it's pretty much done as you see, kind of golden brown but I don't have too much oil in it, I have only 1 teaspoon oil. So now to this I'm going to add my yellow squash and I'll bring down the heat. First you need to saute this one about 5 minutes and then add the spices. 
Now you can cook this one covered or you can cook this one uncovered, it's up to you. But I'm going to saute this one 5 minutes and then I'm going to add the spices and cook it covered for 10 more minutes. Now, if I were to make the taste much more, even more uh, really good tasting, so I could add some about 2 pressed tomato chopped up but right now I don't have the tomatoes so you could enhance the taste really really good adding two seeded chopped tomatoes pressed tomatoes and a handful of cilantro leaves chopped so at the moment I don't have either one of those so I'm just going to add the spices So I'll go ahead and saute it 5 minutes then add the spices. So as you see it's been sauteed for 5 minutes now. Now I'm going to add the spices. In the spices I'm going to add 1 teaspoon salt. You can add less if you wish but since this is about 8 yellow squares I'll just add a teaspoon and I have about half a teaspoon of turmeric. And I have half a teaspoon of garam masala. Half a teaspoon is about like one teaspoon of spicy vegetable masala. And about one large tablespoon of cumin and coriander seed roasted and crushed. Now to this you can put two chopped of fresh tomatoes and a handful of cilantro leaves. So I don't have either one of them. If you have it, you should use it. So now I'm going to cook this one 3-4 minutes like this. In little bit high heat then I will lower the heat and put cover for 10 minutes. Now you can add very sprinkle very little water as it needed because this will release water as soon as you put the cover. So this will cook in low heat for about 10 minutes until it's a little bit tender. As you see this has been cooking for like 5 minutes and I covered it so it was covered but now I took off the cover and I'm going to cook it uncovered for 5 min minutes and this is just looks like this so it's going to be sorted for 5 more minutes and the heat is low. You can put it medium so I will just increase this little bit just keep the heat in the medium. Since it's squash, it will release lots of water. So as you see, the yellow squash is totally done. And I'm going to give you a picture. So it took all together about 15 minutes to cook. 5 minutes time you saute it. And then you 5 minutes you cook with covering. And 5 minutes you cook uncovered. You can cook it 10 minutes if you want to cook it less. I like to cook it thoroughly. So I did 15 minutes but it... You could do less cooking and do for 10 minutes. So I'll give you a picture. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the video. And I will see you with many, many, many more videos. Check out my kale video. I'm going to do a kale video. This is going to be kale with peanuts and it's extremely tasty. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have an awesome day.